this lesson introduces the idea of performing operations with algebraic fractions. And because it's an introductory lesson, we're going to focus on fractions that have numerical denominators. We'll start with addition and subtraction. Whenever we're adding fractions that have the same denominator, then we keep the denominator the same and add the numerators together. A numerical example, 3 quarters plus 5 eighths, at the moment they do not have the same denominator. So I'm going to rewrite 3 quarters as 6 eighths. And then the answer to this is 6 plus 5, which is 11 over 8. Now the same applies with algebraic fractions. So if I'm adding together 2x over 7 and 3x over 7, the result is 2x plus 3x, which is 5x over 7. Similarly with subtraction, 7 tenths take 2 tenths is 5 tenths. As long as the denominators are the same, then we can subtract the numerators. An algebraic example, 5x over 9 take 3x over 9 is 2x over 9. When multiplying fractions, we do not first need to write the fractions with a common denominator. Multiplying fractions is actually, in my opinion, the easiest operation you can perform because we simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. For example, a quarter multiplied by five sixths is one times five over four times six, and that's it. An algebraic example, two over five a multiplied by three over four a multiply the numerators, 2 times 3 is 6, and 5a multiplied by 4a is 20a squared. And we can simplify this fraction because numerator and denominator are both divisible by 2, so this is 3 over 10a squared. And finally, when dividing by a fraction, this is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. So 1 and a third divided by a sixth, now 1 and a third I'm going to rewrite that as 4 thirds, multiplied by the reciprocal of 1 over 6, which is 6 or 6 over 1. And then we can multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators and simplify 24 over 3 is 8. So we use the same process with algebra. 2x over 3 divided by 4x over 5 is the same as 2x over 3 multiplied by 5 over 4x. And if we multiply the numerators together, 2x times 5 is 10x and 3 times 4x is 12x, and this simplifies, we can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2x to leave us with 5 over 6. Now I'd like you to pause this video and try these six examples yourself before checking my solutions. Firstly, we have a common denominator of 4, and we can add together 3x and 7x to get 10x. But then this fraction simplifies because numerator and denominator are both divisible by 2, so this is 5x over 2. Secondly, we have a common denominator of 8. 3x to the power of 5 plus 2x to the power of 5, that's 5 x to the power of 5. Next we have a common denominator of 4. 9x take 3x is 6x and this simplifies to 3x of 2. Then our common denominator is 5. 4x squared take 2x squared, that's 2x squared. Remember when multiplying we multiply the numerators 
So 6x to the power of 5 times 5 is 30x to the power of 5 divided by 7 times 8x cubed, that's 56x cubed. And I can divide both of these by 2x cubed to get 15x squared all over 28. And finally, remember that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of the fraction. 6x to the power of 5 times 2, that's 12x to the power of 5. And 5 times 3x cubed is 15x cubed. Both of these are divisible by 3x cubed. So that's 4x squared all over 5.